Hello! Today is my four months post-op, so I thought that I would make a video for you. It's also a video for me, so I can track it. I also have Minu, little Minu over here, my little baby. Boop! She just booped me. Oh, baby. Oh, she just winked, Minu. Okay, now I'm getting scared. Don't hurt me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. I want to... Okay, this is nothing to... Oh, boop. This has nothing to do with it. Let's do this. So I had my surgery on May 30th, and today is September 30th. So here's my chest. Um, <clears throat> now, let's talk about how I still can't lift my arms up 100% and how it's pissing me off like crazy. Like, seriously, I still can't. Like, let, let's, let's do this range of... <sighs> I can't. I can't. I feel like everything is stretching. It hurts, especially right over here. I just, I don't like it, and I can't lift my arms up anymore, and I don't know what to do. Like, even to, like, go grab a plate, I have to, like, do that, because I don't want it to, to, to stretch. Because it's already stretched a lot on this side, right here, because I'm right-handed, and it, like, fuck. Like, I paid $8,000 for this surgery altogether, and... I did not move at all for four months, and my scars are still super stretched, and it's really pissing me off. The nipples. Um, this one is beauty. Beauty nipple. Although there's some, like, white stuff on the actual nipple part. I don't know what it means. But it, like, pops out, so it's good. But this one doesn't. That thing that you see that's popping out is, like, some sort of, like, pimple or something. I don't know what it is, but I can't feel anything in the chest. Um, I feel here, yes. Here, here is really, really sensitive right here. I can feel all this. The incision, I can, I can feel it. It kind of hurts. It's like putting pressure on it. And the nipples, I don't feel anything except like, like touch. There's no sexual, <laughs> sexual, sexual Jesus sensation at all. Maybe I shouldn't say sexual and Jesus in the same sentence. I still have to sleep on my back. Like I still can't sleep on my side. This, I don't feel like this is normal at all. I f I'm going to make a doctor's appointment tomorrow because I'm getting really, really nervous that there's something that's wrong. Um, I have like a backpack, but it doesn't go on my scars, right? It goes, it goes like normal like that. And maybe it was that that was hurting my chest because it was hurting and now I stopped using it. And it, but it's really sensitive, like right here, right here, really sensitive. Like it's four months. It still hurts so much. Like, obviously, it feels a lot better than it did, like, let's say, two months ago. But the fact that, like, it just, yeah. Also, I'm still a bit eh, about the scars because they're not straight. And I know that people are like, whatever, no point in telling you, but whatever. So I'm still a bit... Yeah, I put bio oil on it every day. I try to do it twice a day, but usually I wake up and then I go to school or I do stuff and I don't have time, so I just do it at night all the time and I feel like it's not enough, but yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. All right, that's it. Four months post-op. These videos are getting kind of boring. I'm sorry. I should really talk about something more interesting in my videos. School started, though. Like, I have time. You want to see this? Look at that. You see that, like, list? of things that I have to do. That is my schedule for school of things that are due. And there's something right up there on the 10th that's due. Literature, bibliography, for my honors thesis. So I hope you guys have a great week. Think about me new. Think about me new.